I bought a GoPro 10 and I've been using it on home inspections and on my drone. I'm going to show you this footage and I will share with you what I've learned so far using the GoPro 10. The dark area doesn't look bad until I pan to the right. There's little blocks that form. That is not from YouTube. That is actually the GoPro 10. When I go outside, the camera changes the exposure very quickly. So I'm very happy with that. Now this was shot in standard bitrate. The flicker is extremely bad. The camera was set to 60 hertz. Uh, when I do my next ins inspection, I will try at 50 hertz and see how that goes. But yeah, 60 hertz in Australia with the GoPro 10 seems very, very bad. You will see here how the GoPro actually shakes. I had hyper smooth up to boost level and I just don't see how boost is going to be useful for anything. If it shakes like this when you are walking, imagine if you're on a motorcycle. This was recorded theoretically at 50 frames per second but the GoPro actually recorded at 59.94 frames per second so that's closer to 60 and this bit rate was set to normal. The camera was set to linear and horizon leveling and hyper smooth 4 was set to normal. I did not use boost. This was also shot in normal bitrate. Here I show you how it looks by default with the standard bitrate and then when I use noise reduction in DaVinci Resolve. I had to use the highest level of noise reduction to get this to work well. If I used a lower version the trees would kind of blur out. I use an RTX 3090 and it took probably five minutes to render this bit using the highest settings. The camera was set to hyper smooth normal and the bit rate was set to normal. The wind on this day was about 30 kilometers per hour. So you will see these massive vibrations on the camera. The camera couldn't handle uh, this wind I'm not sure what happened but also something that you will notice is horizon leveling is not actually keeping it level it's always about one or two degrees to the side so on my final footage i actually had to add keyframes to fix the horizon so for some reason the camera also couldn't handle uh, this this kind of footage so you will see there's a lot of noise on on the ground uh, this was just before sunset so uh, it isn't great for this camera but at least now you can see this kind of footage and again like i said this was not 10-bit uh, this was recorded in standard this is 10-bit footage and this uses about one gig a minute i have to say i'm very very happy with the 10-bit footage you can actually even see the detail on that lamp pole and here i'm showing you the horizon leveling so that you can actually see here it it was doing okay but again it's not perfect it's always off by about one or two degrees and there wasn't much wind you can see that the trees aren't even moving. So the horizon leveling looks like it's just not great. What I've learned from using the GoPro 10 on real shoots and also on the drone is use 10 bit, then you don't have to spend huge amounts of time on noise reduction. And looks like you kind of need a gimbal to get it to stay level. So it looks like this horizon leveling isn't great. So you might as well probably use a gimbal and then switch off horizon leveling and that'll probably use a lot less uh, battery power. Now something also interesting about the GoPro is the on off switch doesn't seem to actually switch it on and off. It just switches the screen off. So every time you you switch it off in, in quotes pull out the battery because if you're going to keep the battery in there the next morning, if you have to go on a shoot like what I had to do, your battery will be flat. So I had to get it charged in the car on my way to a shoot and I wasn't happy. So I ended up, I only had about 25% power on my shoot. So luckily uh, I was okay. Uh, I, could, I could use it with a home inspection, but this on off switch is just rubbish. It, doesn't do anything. 
So always pull out your battery.